Daniel Karyuki, KT News, Nairobi. Thank you, Kariki, for that report. Now, economic experts are sounding alarms over the potential impact of Treasury Cabinet Secretary Njuguna Ndungu's budget proposal, which they say could cripple essential public services amidst ongoing economic pressures. During the budget reading, Ndungu highlighted measures aimed at restraining the growth of the public sector wage bill, including suspending new recruitment and implementing a wage freeze. Sophia Ali reports. Concerns persist as the Kenyan economy grapples with revenue shortfalls, leading to significant cuts in development expenditure and leaving many basic services needs unmet. Economists are emphasizing the need for more prudent financial management. I think we have to live in the adult world. That you pay, as taxpayers, government of Kenya should pay for the things we can afford. Now there might be something about how you rationalize expenditure. Teachers are required more than maybe people who do some other job, that's a conversation that has to be had. We need to see effectiveness in terms of oversight of our budget. For example, if you look at the budget, uh, the institutions that are concerned with uh, the with, uh, anti-corruption campaigns, institutions like DCI, East African uh, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, their budget has been reduced substantially. Despite commendable GDP growth in 2023, challenges remain, prompting the government to widen the tax bracket and increase borrowing, risking further burden on citizens already facing the high cost of living. The proposed introduction of new taxes, including punitive measures, has sparked fears of exacerbating the cost of living. They review the finance bill every year to increase collection and uh, the adverse effect of increasing taxes is uh, uh, they create another problem of tax evasion. Sometimes they don't consider what the impact of increasing these taxes is that most people will try to evade the high tax rates. Opposition to the finance bill 2024 has intensified. Uh, the downside, um, which is very, very major for manufacturing, is the deletion of Section 14 of the Excise Duty Act. That's extremely detrimental. When we quantify it, the net effect of if I'm producing a bottle of chrome, which my Gen Zs might recognize, I now sell it at 290 shillings. Uh, right now, the proposed excise increase is 80%, which means I will price it at 400 shillings. If Section 14 is deleted, I will price it at 770 shillings. In Uganda, the same bottle will cost 300 shillings. In Tanzania, it will cost 150 shillings. And if I import a Scotch whiskey from Scotland, it will cost 570 shillings. Now, that tells you that we are maybe promoting imports as opposed to local. While Kenya's public debt has slightly reduced, concerns linger with the Central Bank of Kenya highlighting risks, exchange rate fluctuations and inflations. Monetary policy response aimed to curb inflationary pressures, abate at the expense of high borrowing costs, underscoring the delicate economic balancing act ahead. Sophia Ali for KTN News. The day after the National Treasury CS Professor 